Welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my lesson is on parallel and perpendicular lines and how to write the equation of each and how to interpret. So our objectives today are that you will identify and write the equations of parallel lines, and as well, you will identify and write the equations of perpendicular lines. Here's what I'd like you thinking about today. How can you use what you know about the equation of a line to determine if lines are parallel or perpendicular? Let's begin with reviewing parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that will never intersect. Parallel lines are lines that have the same slope. So when two lines are graphed in the same coordinate plane, they will have the same slope. Special note that all vertical lines are parallel. This is important to note because vertical lines have an undefined slope and therefore you couldn't really say that they have equal slopes, but parallel lines are can be considered that all vertical lines are parallel to each other. Now let's look at this graph. We have two lines already on our graph and we've been given two points on each line and we're being asked to determine if the lines are parallel. So you don't want to ever just look at it and say, well, they look parallel to me. You want to find the slope of each line to verify and prove that they are parallel. So let's check. So let's find the slope of the pink line. We're going to find the change in y, 2, subtract 3, over the change in x, negative 5, subtract 0. So 2 subtract 3 is negative 1, and negative 5 subtract 0 is negative 5, and that simplifies to positive 1 fifth. So the slope of this pink line is 1 fifth. Now let's find the slope of the orange line to verify, and or to check if it even is parallel. So our change in y, negative 6, subtract negative 5, and then change in x, negative 1, subtract 4, negative 1, subtract 4. So add the opposite here, we're going to get negative 1, and add the opposite here, and we'll get negative 5. This simplifies to 1 fifth. So these lines have the same slope. So since they have the same slope, the lines are parallel. Now, you may be asked to write the equation in slope-intercept form of a line that passes through a point and is parallel to a line. So how we would do this is we're going to note that we have a point, and we know that if a line is parallel to this line, then they're going to have the same slope. So the line that is parallel to this line, it passes through this point, and will have the same slope because lines that are parallel have the same slope. So now we need to write the equation of a line that passes through this point with a slope of 1 half. So let's use um, the idea that we know the slope is 1 half and we're going to go use point slope form. So here is y subtract my y coordinate of my point equals my slope multiplied by the quantity x subtract the x coordinate. But we were asked to put this in slope-intercept form, so let's distribute the 1 half. 1 half times x is 1 half x, and 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1. Now we're going to add 2 to each side to solve for y, and that gives me that y is equal to 1 half x, and negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. So the slope of the line that passes through the point 2, 2, parallel to this line, is going to be y equals 1 half x plus 1. Special note here, parallel lines must have the same slope but different y-intercepts. If they had the same slope and the same y-intercept, they'd be the same line. Now let's talk about perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect and form right angles. The slopes of perpendicular lines have a product of negative 1. The slope of a perpendicular line is also considered the opposite reciprocal of the line it is perpendicular to. So let's look if we have a line that has a slope of 1 third, we're going to find the opposite reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 1 third is 3 
and the opposite of that would be negative 3. So it's going to be the opposite sign and it's reciprocal. We can check this because the product of these slopes has to be negative 1 for them to be perpendicular. So 1 third times negative 3 is indeed negative 1. Remember, any number multiplied by its reciprocal will have a product of 1. So if we make one of these the opposite, then it's going to be negative 1. A special note, vertical lines are perpendicular to horizontal lines. So you're remembering that vertical lines have an undefined slope and horizontal lines have a zero slope. So even though you can't check it by knowing multiplying their slopes, we know that all vertical lines will form right angles when they intersect with horizontal lines. Now we're given two lines on a graph and we are asked to determine if they are perpendicular. So we are going to find the slope of each line and see if their slopes have a product of negative 1. So the first one we're going to do is find the slope of the pink line. So the change in y, 2, subtract 3, all over the change in x, negative 5, subtract 0. 2 subtract 3 is negative 1, and negative 5 subtract 0 is negative 5, and this simplifies to 1 fifth. Now let's find the slope of the orange line. We're going to find the change in y, 4 subtract negative 1, or here I did it the opposite, negative 1 subtract 4 over 6 subtract 5. Remember the order doesn't matter as long as you use the same order of the ordered pairs in the numerator and the denominator. So negative 1 subtract 4 is negative 5 and 6 subtract 5 is 1 and this simplifies to negative 5. 1 fifth and negative 5 are opposite reciprocals. 1 fifth multiplied by negative 5 is negative 1. So therefore, the lines are perpendicular because the product of their slopes is negative 1. Now, let's practice writing the equation of a perpendicular line. We're asked to write an equation in slope-intercept form of a line that passes through the point 5, negative 2 and is perpendicular to the line y equals 2x minus 7. So noting that we have a point on our line, and if it's perpendicular to this line, then the slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal. So we are going to write this equation of a line in slope-intercept form that passes through the point 5, negative 2, and has a slope of negative 1 half. And that will be perpendicular to this line. So let's use point slope. y subtract negative 2 would be y add 2. Now I got that from right here. That's my y coordinate my slope of negative one-half, and then x subtract my x-coordinate of my point that it passes through 5. But we're asked for slope-intercept form, so let's solve this for y. We're going to distribute the negative one-half. Negative one-half times x is negative one-half x, and negative one-half times negative 5 is positive 5 halves. Still solving for y, I'm going to subtract 2 from each side. So now I need to get a common denominator, which would be negative 4 halves. Negative 4 halves is equivalent to negative 2, but now I can combine these terms. So over here we're left with y, bring down our negative 1 half x, this is a 0, and 5 halves subtract 4 halves is positive 1 half. So y equals negative 1 half x plus 1 half is the equation of a line that is perpendicular to this line and passes through this point. Now it's your turn. You have an equation here, y equals 1 fourth x subtract 7, and you're being asked what the slope is of a line that is parallel to this line and a slope of the line that would be perpendicular to this line. Go ahead and pause the video now and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So the slope of a parallel line to this line will have the same slope. So the slope will be 1 fourth. The slope of a line that is perpendicular to this line needs to have the opposite reciprocal. So opposite would make it negative and the reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4. So the slope would be negative 4. Negative 4 times 1 fourth is negative 1. So the product of their slopes is negative 1, and it checks. 
Try another one. Here's the equation of a line. I'd like you to find the slope of a line that is parallel to this line and the slope of a line that is perpendicular to this line. Please pause the video now and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So the first thing that I'm going to do is write this in slope intercept form so I can identify the slope of the line. So let's solve for y. I'm going to subtract 2x from each side of the equation. This gives me negative y equals negative 2x plus 6. Now I need to know what positive y is equal to, so we're going to multiply each term by negative 1. So y equals 2x subtract 6. So now I can identify that the slope of my given line is 2. Therefore, the slope of any line parallel to this line is going to also be 2. And then the slope of a line that can be perpendicular to this line is going to be the opposite reciprocal, so negative 1 half. And 2 multiplied by negative 1 half is negative 1. Your turn. I would like you to write the equation in slope-intercept form of a line that passes through this point and is perpendicular to this line. Please pause the video now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So first we're identifying the equation of the line that we're writing passes through this point and it's perpendicular to this line. So we look at this slope and we know that the slope of our line that we're writing is going to be the opposite, so positive, and the reciprocal, which is 5 sevenths. So we're writing the equation of a line with a slope of 5 sevenths that passes through the point negative 5, 5. So let's use point slope. y subtract our y coordinate, which was 5, equals our slope 5 sevenths then x subtract our x coordinate, so x subtract negative 5, which is x add 5. Now we've been asked to put it in slope intercept form, so let's solve this for y. We're first going to distribute the 5 sevenths, so 5 sevenths x, and then 5 sevenths times 5 is 25 sevenths. Now we're going to solve for y still. We're going to add 5 to each side to get y alone. And when we do that, we need a common denominator over here. So 5 is equal to 35 sevenths. So now we have a common denominator and we can add. So let's go ahead. We have this is 0. So y is equal to, bring down our 5 sevenths x. And 25 plus 35 is 60 sevenths. So there we have it. This is the equation of a line that is perpendicular to this line and passes through this point. So there you have it. That is how you write the equations of lines that are parallel to each other or perpendicular to each other. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Have a great day.